The SDLP leader, Colm Eastwood, says he cannot in good conscience attend celebratory events at the White House for St. Patrick's Day. He joins us now. Colm, what do you hope to achieve by shunning the White House on St. Patrick's Day? Well, I suppose we're thinking about 26,000 people in Gaza have been wiped off the face of the earth by the Israeli government. And it just doesn't seem right to me to be drinking Guinness and uh, celebrating um, in the White House, given the fact that the, the American administration could uh, do a lot more, in my view, to put an end to this genocide. So I think, you know, we obviously, it's obviously a big decision to make, and we have very good friends with the American administration. But if friends can't tell each other the truth, then I'm not sure um, what else we can be doing. And I think, for me, anyway, and others will make their own decision. Uh, there wasn't much choice. I just don't believe that we can be celebrating uh, during all this. Should the Irish government do the same thing? Should Sinn Féin do the same thing, in your view? Well, other people have to make their own decisions, and the government in particular have a different level of responsibility than I do. Um, Sinn Féin have uh, made their decision, but uh, frankly, I, I just think it's more important to make a stand, take a stand on what's going on in Gaza than to be in America you know, raising money for, for any political party. Uh, it, it's certainly making a stand, but what happens after you make the stand? I mean, we've, if, for example, the Irish government were to do it, that invitation would probably never happen again. We would lose huge influence there. I mean, that is a, it's a really important date in the calendar. We can exercise huge influence by that. I mean, it, it, does talking to people not better than not talking to people? Look, look, of course, and we're not disengaging from the American administration and we're not asking anybody else to do anything. We, and I think we, we, respect Colin, you, you ca- we kind of are. If you don't turn up at that, it's a snub and it'll be perceived as a snub. Well, I'm not, I'm not, asking, I'm not asking the Irish government to, to, to do that and I understand that they have a different level of responsibility. What I'm saying is when the whole world feels totally helpless um, because of what's going on in Gaza, this is something that I can do to draw attention and I just don't think that me turning up to a party uh, in the White House and, you know, having a quiet word uh, would draw the attention that I can draw by not going. And I just think we have to take every opportunity that we have. And this is this is acting. It's not it's not copping out or it's not um, snubbing anybody. It's taking a stand and making a point. Um, and I think, you know, others will make their own decision. And again, the government have a different uh, standard and a different responsibility than I do. And I understand that. Um, but other political parties can make their own decision, and um, but you know it's up to them. But I just think this is this uh, is a moment you, in history. That looking, I think we have to. Are you balance. looking politically to outflank Sinn Fein on this? No, at, not at all. That's why I'm not criticising anybody else for any position that they've taken. Um, I came to this after thinking about it for a long time. I just don't think I've got a choice, and I, I just I just refuse to think it's the right thing to do for me to be, you know, in the White House drinking Guinness and pretending everything's okay. This is a, a moment in history that is, uh, we're watching the first ever televised genocide. And I don't think, you know, whilst we all have limited uh, influence on that, this is one thing that I can do. And I'm just not prepared to go and pretend everything's okay. Jerry Adams says that calls to boycott St. Patrick's Day are inconsistent. He says some folks are saying the Sinn Féin leadership shouldn't meet with the American political system. They're not saying we shouldn't meet with the British political system. The Brits are up to their neck in this. Doesn't he have a point? Well, I think everybody understands that if Joe Biden... Um, put the effort in, he could stop this genocide. Britain has a big influence um, as well, though, and they've taken a very pro Israel position. Well, I, you know, unlike Jerry Adams, I actually go to Westminster and I've raised this at Prime Minister's questions many times. This is something that I can do in America. Um, I'm not a member of the US Senate, I am a member of the House of Commons. Unfortunately, while Sinn Fein this week are talking about how important it is to turn up. They haven't turned up in uh, in Westminster ever uh, at any point um, to, to, to use their influence. So it's a bit rich coming from uh, Jerry saying that today. Uh, just very finally, the US have been a hugely important uh, force for good in Northern Ireland, a, a, an honest broker. We know what happened with the Good Friday Agreement, but even, even since then they've played a key role. Would you not be worried that by snubbing this event you're going to insult the US that it could do damage to the role they will play in in the future in Northern Ireland. We know uh, things in the North are far from settled at this point. Could you be damaging that uh, down the road? 
No, look, I have a lot of very close relationships built up over many years with people in the United States and in this administration in particular. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, Tom, but c- close relationships don't tend to last when somebody doesn't turn up at your house. Well, we'll see about that. Um, I have been very clear with the American administration in the run-up to this, my views on this issue, that I do think it's inappropriate for us to be celebrating whilst people are being slaughtered in Gaza. If the, if the American administration... No, no, and, and you've made that Ireland point. You've made that, that point. I'd be but but I, are you not concerned about the impact it will have in terms of their role in Northern Ireland? No, not at all. There's a long-standing relationship with the American administration and Irish America, and the impact that they've been able to have in Ireland and the peace process has been huge, and we appreciate that, and I understand it uh, intimately. Um, but I also think when you have good friends, you have to tell them the truth, and what is happening in Gaza is beyond, above and beyond anything else that is going on in the world right now, and the American administration could do a whole lot more to stop it happening. Could you go and, and tell them that small, in the White House? tiny bit of influence... Well, I've told I've told the American administration this, but having a quiet word between pints of Guinness, I just don't think is enough. I think this has obviously uh, got more attention than turning up and having a quiet word. And I think that's the point of it, to try and make an impact, okay. try and use whatever influence we have, SD- and hopefully they'll listen. SDLP leader Colm Eastwood, thank you for talking to News Talk Breakfast this morning.